Flying drone in Europe has been so far quite frustrating, both for people living here and for drone enthusiasts visiting from other parts of the world. Rules and regulations are totally different in every single country, and in certain cases they are awkward and unclear, to the point that quite a few users have already given up this hobby. In two months' time, there will be a new regulation applying to all European countries, and this is excellent news, as it will make everything so much easier, both for local learners and visitors from abroad. Also, the new rules are quite clear and easy to apply. In this video, I will explain how the new regulation works in the easiest, clearest way, using real-life example instead of legalese and political jargon. At the moment, I have my cows in handy from Missouri, spending a few months here in old Europe. Apparently, he's a big fan of drones. Andy, say hi to our friends. Hi. So, can I start using my drone right away here in Italy? Well, Andy, I would seriously suggest to wait a few weeks for the new European rules that will be under the responsibility of EASA from January 1st, 2021. Regulations here in Italy are probably the worst of all. The National Aviation Authority changes the rule three times a day. Their website is constantly down. You need to pass an exam even to charge the batteries. And they try to take money from you in every possible way. Okay, fine, I will wait. But do you need some sort of license for the EASA thingy? The new regulation will be based taking into account two different factors. The first one is operational. In other words, what will you do with your drone? There are three categories. Open, specific, and certified, but you can disregard certified, as it doesn't really apply to prosumer drones. The vast majority of drone users will fall under the open category, which basically includes all low-risk flight, in visual line of sight, and at a maximum height of 120 meters, generally avoiding flying over uninvolved people. The distance to be kept from people and buildings varies according to the technical subcategories, which are based mostly on the weight of the aircraft. For flying in the open category, you need to register with a local aviation authority in order to get an operator registration number. If you own more than a drone, you need to register only once and then apply a label with your number in every drone you own. Then you need to pass an online knowledge test, unless your drone weights less than 250 grams. But I'm a resident of the United States of America, what should I do? Users coming from outside Europe have to go through the, exactly the same process. You have to contact the aviation authority in the first country where you intend to use your drone, request an operator registration number, and pass the online test. Before flying, you need to check the official maps showing the drone geographical zone in the website of the National Authority. Andy, what drones do you own? I have Mavic Mini, Mavic Air 2, and the Mavic 2 Pro. Okay, then you need to take into account the different classes based on the weight of the aircraft, and the three Mavic drones fall in different classes. Here things get a bit more complicated, but I will try to make it as simple as possible. The Mini, since it weighs less than 250 grams, fall in subcategory A1 and doesn't need the online training and the exam. It can fly in urban areas and over uninvolved people, unless it is an assembly of people. The Mavic Air also falls under the subcategory A1, but since it is over the 250 gram limit, the online exam is needed and cannot fly over uninvolved people. The Mavic 2 Pro is just 7 gram above the 900 gram limits, so it falls under subcategory A2. Therefore, it must keep a distance of 30 meters from uninvolved people and requires a written exam besides the online test. This written exam leads to a certificate of remote competency. 
Frankly, I would not be surprised if DJI will shave a few grams in the next version of the Mavic Pro in order to remain below the limit of 900 grams. All drones will eventually need to carry a CE mark stating the class they belong to and will be equipped with a transponder. But, but my drone don't have any marks and I don't see any transponders. Does it mean that I cannot fly? Don't worry Andy, no need to panic. Most drones do not have a CE mark yet, but they can still fly under a category called limited open until the 1st of January 2023. And even after that, but from 2023 they will fall under the A3 subcategory, which doesn't allow urban flying. Regarding the transponder, all Mavic drones already have one. At the moment it is not communicating with the local authorities, but this will be apparently solved soon via firmware upgrade. Okay, I suppose this will only cover recreational users. I would like to shoot some footage for professional use. What should I do? In the new EASA regulation, there isn't a difference between recreational and professional user. They both need to follow the rules according to the subcategory of the drone they are flying and the kind of operation, open or specific. Wait, 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 what do you mean about the specific category? The specific category covers operations that are not included in the open category. As an example, flying beyond line of sight or over assembly of people. Within the specific categories, operations with a standard scenario do not require authorization, but only communication to the local authority. More complex operations require a risk assessment and an authorization. Okay, another thing, I'll probably have to go to Scotland and England. I've heard about something going on there. Will I be able to fly there? The UK Civil Authority has stated in several occasions that they intend to follow the EAS regulation, but nothing in written in stone yet. But so, I will be able to fly anywhere in Europe following these simple rules? That is correct, Andy. Everywhere. And if you have any other specific question, you will find an answer in the EASA website. There is a very informative uh, frequently asked question section. Wow, this European regulation seems to be very interesting. Now that I think about it, your channel looks very, very cool. What can I do to know about your new videos? Thank you, Andy. Simply click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it. So you will receive a notification when a new video is published. Now say goodbye to our friends. Bye guys. You should also subscribe to this channel if you're into drones. It is indeed extra cool.